What do you make of what's happening across the bridge from you with the Jets, with Aaron Rodgers opining from 3,000 miles away, Joe Namath, Trevor Simeon, Zach Wilson, just the total hot mess that is the New York Jets? I mean, they just got kicked in the stomach or maybe a little lower um, when they were planning all for one thing. And that was to have Aaron Rodgers be everything for this franchise. So how do you, what do you do when that happens? You try to make this player who you had hoped to have a red shirt year under Aaron Rodgers. You try to get him ready to go. Clearly he's not ready to go. And I see all this criticism of oh, Salah is an idiot. What? How come he can't see this? Sala sees it. He just can't say it. What would Sala be like saying, yep, yeah, the guy stinks, but we're going to try to win with him? No, he's got to pump him up. And again, I've not talked to Sala about this. Maybe he really does think he's great, but I doubt it. And, and look, I just think that this is one of those years that – Everybody has just got to take kind of a deep breath and try to get through it the best he can and try to win games every week the way that you look at the way the Bengals are going to have to win this year. Totally different. But you think that Joe Burrow is going to be healthy at any point this year? I don't think so. He keeps saying, yeah, I'll be okay in a few weeks. I just have to make sure I don't have any setbacks. He's not going to be okay this year. You don't get better by playing a football game every week when you have a calf injury. But I, I think the one thing I would say about the Jets is they just got to go into every every game, every week, figuring out some way, any way, to try to keep it close so their defense can win in the fourth quarter. I want to play a soundbite for you uh, from Willie Gay. Let's roll this in and we'll talk about it on the other side. When you look on tape, what are you seeing from Zach Wilson in their offense? Damn, that was a hard question. I can't lie. Uh, the team that want to run the ball, you know, uh, of course, man, you know, not, not that wasn't you know to be funny or anything, but A. Rod got hurt and it turned into a team where like in panic mode almost. That's what I see at least. And um, they got great running backs, so now they're just trying to pound it, pound and ground, um, like they did. Uh, what, what what game was that? Who did they just? I don't know if they want or not, but uh, I feel like the running back's been rolling. So, uh, like I say, three great ones. So, I feel like that's their game plan. So, Peter King, I want to ask you this. You and I have been around a while. We're both journalists. I have been offended in prepping for this at how people take other people's work and they aggregate it and they put on a clickbait-style headline saying, Willie Gay is coming off and he's making fun of Zach Wilson and he's having fun at his expense and they're making it sound like he was roasting or trolling Zach Wilson. What do you think? You know what I loved about that answer? If you listen to the answer rather than read a snippet of a quote from him, you actually listen to the answer and you say, he's absolutely right. You know, they do look a little panicky in the passing game. And yes, they are trying to win by running the ball. Congratulations. You got a guy who tells the truth and he did not rip Zach Wilson. No. And, you know, it made me think of sometimes when you're on the sidelines and you're in that unfortunate space where you have to ask your coach about the second half adjustments and they say something like, well, you know, if we want to win, we have to run the ball. You're not going to. If you don't run the ball, you're not going to win. It's like, oh, great. Thanks for that piece of information. It f makes me feel um, angry when I feel like journalists, so to speak, out there are taking information and twisting it for clickbait. So I'm just curious, as somebody who has written the written word for so long and seen how the business has changed, I mean, what do you think of this? I mean, I just found myself so irritated when I saw it, and I thought I would ask you since I had you on today. I think one of the things that is bothersome about our business is I saw uh, a little headline this week. I forget where it was, but it said breaking uh, Matt Canada working more with uh, Kenny Pickett this week or something. I, I forget what it was exactly, but I just shook my head and say, wow, the offensive coordinator, he's got some, you know, he's working with the quarterback. 
you see stuff like that now all the time, all the time. And I don't know why other than there's probably, um, there are probably um, 8 million people covering the NFL right now, although it might be 80 million. And I keep thinking that uh, the herd needs to be thinned. Yeah, no kidding. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 